So with this first example, I want to go over the general idea of hypothesis testing. So let's say that we had a store where the average weekly sales were $9,820. The store decided to put out a newspaper ad for 50 weeks, and during those 50 weeks, the average weekly sales were $10,280. So what we want to investigate is whether or not the newspaper ad had an actual effect on the average weekly sales of the store. So at first thought, you might think, well, the average weekly sales went up by $460 per week. But what we want to really check is whether or not that increase is statistically significant. Each week, the average weekly sales are going to vary. So sometimes they'll be higher, sometimes they'll be lower, but it's the overall average of $9,820 that's important. So the question we really want to ask is, if my average weekly sales were $9,820, what is the probability that I could have a random 50-week stretch where the average sales were at least $10,280? It could have happened even without the newspaper ad. So that's what I want to check. I want to look for the probability that I could get a sample mean of at least $10,280. Well, what I do is I use the sampling distribution, and since the average weekly sales are a normal variable, I can change this interval into a z-interval and calculate the probability accordingly. When I calculate the probability that z is greater than 2.06, that would be the z value for my sample mean of $10,280. I see that the probability I could have a normally distributed variable more than 2.06 standard deviations above the mean is about 2%, 0.0197. So now I have to make a conclusion based off of this. And I can basically have two conclusions. The first conclusion is as follows. It's possible that the ad had no effect on my average weekly sales. It's possible that the average weekly sales from my store is still going to be $9,820 long term. Because it's possible, just by chance, that I could have had a 50 week stretch where my sample mean was $10,280. But what I just calculated is that that probability is only about 2%. So, 2% of the time, I get random 50-week stretches where I have sales this good. So the question is, is, do you think that's a reasonable chance that this could have just randomly happened during the 50 weeks during a, while I had this newspaper ad? The other conclusion I can make is that the newspaper ad is actually having an effect and my average weekly sales actually have increased due to this newspaper ad. If I conclude that, there's a probability that I would be wrong. There's a probability I might be wasting money on the newspaper ad. But the probability I would be wrong is only about 2%. In the next few examples, we'll go through a more formal hypothesis test and we'll reach the conclusions in a similar manner.